What's good, everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. I got a few things here in the shop that are in need of some attention. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about what it's been like over the last seven days of vlogist. The first thing I'm gonna work on are these cedar shutters. They're pretty much done. The only thing I have left to do is to put a bar urethane on all of them, a protective finish that will help them to last longer. They're made of cedar, so they'll naturally resist a lot of the elements but we wanna make sure that they do and that they last a lot longer. Uh, the spar urethane costs a tad more than regular urethane, but you get out of it what you put into it. This bench right here I made a long time ago before I had a whole bunch of other things in the shop. It's six feet by four feet. I love it and hate it. I love it because it's massive and when I'm gonna take all of these shutters and lay them out, it's perfect. But then when I need to get to this side of the table, I can't get to everything or I might not be able to reach from one side to the other. So it's, it starts to lose its luster a little bit. I'm trying to arrange them so I don't get any dripping onto my saw. This is exactly what I was talking about. Like, I'm not gonna be able to get to this entire one, so it, it sort of loses its functionality. Ah, uh, this piece is a future project. I've got everything laid out, it's all ready to go. I just need to get myself ready to do this. I'm probably only gonna do like three or four at a time. I think I'm gonna end up making a mess otherwise. <laughs> Whenever you're using paint or polyurethane or stain or anything like that, make sure that you've got proper ventilation. I've actually got a fan uh, over here in the shop that blows air out. I have a window open on another side that pulls air in. Otherwise, you can get pretty sick in here. That's not a good idea. I've got uh, one coat on all of the shutters. I ended up actually using uh, another table so that way I could do all of them and not have to wait and do them in intervals, which is awesome. That'll save me some time. I have to wait about four hours before I can put on the next coat. So I've got time to waste. Oh wait, nope, I ain't got no time to waste. I'm gonna have to move on to the next thing. Before I introduce you to that project, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it because I just used up all my surface space. What you working on, Emmy? Working on a bench, I'm sanding it right now so I can paint it and trying to get as much gunk off as I can. Why do you go with the grain of the wood? Because I'll scratch the grain. Yeah, look at you. She's a bit of a chip off the old block, if I uh, must say myself. The next thing on my list is to finish up this coffee table that I've been working on for quite a while. I need to attach the trim pieces to the outside of the table itself and then put a polyurethane on it so that way it's protected. I came out into the shop to see that uh, Emerson was actually working on her own project. She absolutely loves being in the shop with me, and of course I love that she's in here. Sometimes she does some stuff that uh, I just don't seem to understand. But hey, you do you, girlfriend and do it well. Customer wanted the table made out of pallet wood. I used some pallet wood, and then all the rest was reclaimed materials that I found along the way, and I think it worked out pretty well. What do you think? We'll start off by adding glue and then taking a brad nail, tack it into place so that way we don't get any movement when we go to clamp it up. And then clamp it down. All right, it's looking clamptastic. I am gonna show you a very special thing about what I put in this table because this isn't just a coffee table. What 
what has it been like vlogging for the past nine days straight? Well, it definitely looks like a pile of laundry at the bottom of your steps. It's definitely been like that. It has also been not being able to find the kids a lot. Bridget! I was laying down. What are you doing? We've gotta go get dance shoes. <laughs> ah, come on. I guess we have to go to the gas station. Yes, that is eight miles left until empty. Whew, we made it to the gas station, Bridget. Were you ready to push the car if we ran out of gas? No, why not? I, I wanna get my dance shoes. Yeah, we're gonna go get your dance shoes. Ready? Can you tie you a bow? Yep, on there. I will. I can do it. Can you? It's a awesome. Yeah. yeah. No. Let's be honest. Even if we weren't vlogging every day, there'd be a pile of laundry at the bottom of the steps and I'd be looking everywhere for Bridget. So I guess I can't blame vloggers for that. You ready to get down? Okay. Hey, Mama. I am a little more tired than usual. It's eight o'clock. I'm going out to do evening chores and Man, I wish they were already done because I would love to lay down on the couch right now. But eh, I guess in September I'll do that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of Vlogus. And we'll see you on day 10.